I want to make sure that what it is is the people of the state of Texas, state of Texas being all uppercase letters, company doing business as state of Texas. So if the people of the state of Texas in all uppercase letters are suing you, that is a fictional entity as the state of Texas in all uppercase letters, only exists in someone's mind. And as such, can they uh, be put on the stand to be cross-examined? Uh, will all of them fit in the room? I think not. As you can see, our system is not functioning as it originally was intended and is set up to proceed in equity where the judge can arbitrarily decide any way he chooses and you are bound by his decisions. The judge will never want a jury to decide and if a jury is present, he will coerce them into a decision based on his instructions and will never allow them to freely decide as they choose. And I'm sure some of you uh, who may be watching this are familiar with the term and have heard the phrase, you must follow the law as I give it to you, or that judges say uh, the jury must follow the law as I give it to them. And, that, and that's a lie. That's not true. You know, you can, you can, you know, it's your prerogative. You're the jury. You don't have to do what the judge says. You can make a free decision based on the evidence. You don't have to do what the judge tells you. And we're going to show you some of that. Here's a picture of where justice is supposed to be occurring. This is the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. And uh, in Admiralty, uh, it only applies to the sea, that is the oceans, the water. Obviously, and only in times of war are we at war. Yes, we have been under emergency war powers since the time of Abe Lincoln. There is always a declared war, a war on drugs, a war on terror, uh, a war on poverty, etc. How about getting an attorney? An attorney does not have to do what you tell him and can actually go against your wishes because once you sign up, you are legally declared a ward of the court. A child, incapable of representing yourself, unable to make decisions for yourself. They really, really want you to sign, to assign you, they really, really want to assign you a free public defender so they can keep you from making any of those unpleasant, crucial demands for justice. You will not be able to learn enough to put on a lengthy trial of examining witnesses, etc., but you can make all of your points in your writings and what I do is prepare everything I wish to say in a prepared statement to read off of bring a digital voice recorder and keep in your pocket you can't imagine how handy it is later to be able to transcribe what was said okay I'm gonna read off this um, page I have up here for you this is pertaining to the state of California attorney oath of office and bar association Updated the second day of the sixth month, Anno Domini 2003. Section 6067 of the California Business and Professions Code requires that every attorney must file an oath of office with the Secretary of State, stating that upon admission shall take an oath to, <coughs> su to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, and to faithfully discharge the duties of an attorney at law to the best of one's knowledge and ability. A certificate of the oath shall be endorsed upon licensure. There are no attorneys licensed in California. All the attorneys that were asked could not produce a certificate to verify license. At best, an attorney can only produce a bar membership card that is privately issued by the Bar Association and possibly a letter of acknowledgement from the state superior court. The bar is kind of like the plumber's union. If you got a license from the plumber's union, could you do stuff that you couldn't do if you weren't licensed from the plumber's union? Because a license is the opportunity to do something that would otherwise be illegal to do without it. <clears throat> so since the bar is a private institution, how do they issue a license? The only party that can issue a license is the state. And the then, Bar Association is also listed as a private company in Dun & Bradstreet, and private companies cannot enforce uh, their will upon others or laws. Right. They can't enforce policy on someone else. The California Bar Association was incorporated in 1901, corporation number C003312 and C001748. 
According to the incorporation papers, the corporation would exist for a period of 50 years. In 1951, the corporation ceased to exist. The California State Bar Association now does not officially exist in the state of California. It now operates as a chapter of the national organization. The California State Secretary of State does not have any record of the association since 1951. Corporations are required to register with the State Secretary of State, even municipal and nonprofit corporations. The association has not done so since 1951 and is listed as inactive and term expired. With this. Here's a page showing a response from the State of California Office of the Secretary of State. I, Tony Miller, Acting Secretary of State of the State of California, hereby certify that on the 18th day of May 1901, California State Bar Association became incorporated under the laws of the State of California by filing its Articles of Incorporation in this office. I further certify that Article 4, Article 4 of the Articles of Incorporation states, quote, that the term for which said corporation is, is to exist is 50 years from and after the date of its incorporation. I further certify that the records relating to said corporation are in the inactive files in, as the terms of existence have expired. And there you go. The yeah, so if any of that, uh, I'm sure much of that is uh, not widely publicly known. If it was widely publicly known, we'd be living uh, in a very different county, in a very different state, a very different country, and a very different world. Shocking. <laughs> so anyway, uh, among these uh, many different uh, illustrations, uh, we're going to be having some video illustrations coming up at uh, any moment. But uh, as, as we were uh, going into so many different illustrations, sort of uh, breaking them apart, hoping to piece them together, I'll continue with the going to court. Uh, we were talking about bringing in a voice recorder and without some sort of uh, record uh, to remember what was said, and not just remember it, but able to be able to prove it, it can become uh, very difficult to uh, state your side of things and get someone to actually uh, know that you're telling the truth. And we were discussing something the other day that well, I you thought can't was you can't remember what was said. Not just that, but you know, in terms of proving who's to be, be believed, we were discussing about calling the police and. Uh, it makes a cop caller out of everyone, so I think it's kind of bad because, you know, we need to manage our own affairs as much as possible, and police should be called in only when we really, really need them as public servants. When we really, really need them is when we should be calling them, not just for anything. But the way this system has been set up is so terrible. If you call the cops first, you're the one that they, that they believe by policy, right? That's correct. By policy. They believe whoever, whoever, calls, whoever, first. whoever calls first. Yeah. So uh, I would say, you know, keep it some kind of digital recorder, video and audio uh, at all times in your life for everything. And not in a paranoid manner, but just, you know, why not have it around? Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? So anyway, Wait, often... Oh, let's... Go so, ahead. so nowadays, look how much evidence is produced for other people to witness from cell phone videos being taken. Mm-hmm. Cell phone videos and cell phone audio. Now we have a, uh, an actual court experience by Sam, Sam I Am, who yeah, is a, a, protege. a protege of Mark Stevens. And this is Mark Stevens' book right here. I don't know if you folks can read it. It's called uh, Adventures in Legal Land. Uh, pick it up, folks. It's very, very interesting and, simple and simplistic, like we've been saying. It's easy, to, it's easy stuff to comprehend. O oh, great one who cometh from the bright light, the judge is all-powerful. He is the law. I believe all people are created equally, and I have some questions about the nature of our relationship. All right. Um, you want to cross the bench, sir? I'd like to sit here. I'd like for you to come up here, sir. I, uh, my knees kind sir, of hurt from dance class. Your knees. Would you come up here, please? Okay. It has my notes in it. I'm ready to enter a guilty plea and uh, pay my money and get out of here. Is that what you want to do? Well, I read that uh, in order to do that, I have to knowingly and uh, sure. willfully enter the uh, the plea with full understanding of the nature and, and cause.